We can manage appointments by right-clicking on an appointment. The right-click menu pops up with different ways to manage appointments day in and day out. The first option we'll see is Confirm. Many businesses follow the practice of calling customers the day before to confirm appointments. And for those of us that follow that practice, we can manually confirm appointments, but remember that our customers are able to confirm appointments on their own, either through the confirmation email or text or the online booking site. Confirmed appointments will have a thumbs up icon. Next is check and guest. We can click on this when Nicole or any other customer arrives for an appointment. Checking in will update the appointment on the calendar to a green color and has a green check mark icon. This is a useful visual cue for staff members waiting in a break room. Let's continue exploring the right-click menu. Next up, Lock to Staff. This is a great option to use when staff is requested, as it is a step beyond that and more restrictive. It locks this appointment to the service provider and cannot be moved to another service provider unless we unlock it from the right-click menu or as we edit the appointment. Have you ever wondered who booked or moved an appointment? With Booker, it is very easy to track who is booking an appointment or making a change based on the logins. To see this information, right-click on any appointment on the calendar, hover over View, and then choose to view the appointment. This will bring us to the View Appointment page, and what we have here is a more detailed view of the appointment, but more importantly is this small clock icon. This is the history icon, and we will see it throughout the system. By clicking this icon, we will have the appointment history appear. We can think of this as the audit trail. It keeps track of all appointment activity from when it was booked all the way through the appointment being paid for and completed. Hover over print to print this appointment, the customer's itinerary, or the invoice. Send appointment info gives a quick option to resend the appointment email or text to the customer. This can be useful when an appointment is updated we can see when these appointment notifications are sent in the history too. Next we see Remove Recovery Time. Recovery time is optional time given to staff and rooms to get ready for the next service. This is set up in the service settings and automatically included in the duration if it's being used. Any appointments with it will have a gray bar at the bottom. This is the recovery time for this service. We can remove recovery time as we book appointments and also here in the right-click menu. We can remove the time altogether or individually from the tech or staff member and also from the room. When removed, that gray bar on the appointment is also removed and frees up that time slot. Last on the right-click menu is Edit Customer Notes. This takes us to the Notes tab of the Customer Profile where we can see and enter progress and customer notes along with allergies and medications specific to this customer. To learn more about customer notes, check out the customer management videos. The last thing to cover is the Find Appointments sub-tab in the Appointments tab. Here we can search and find any appointment that's ever been booked in the account, regardless of its status. And we can use any of these filters to narrow down the information that we're looking for. For example, if we want a list of appointments booked online, we can use the origin filter here. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.